Hi, Facebook family. It is Neil, and um, I showed you guys earlier. I got this handy dandy package in the mail, and I cannot wait to open it for you guys. So let's just open it and see what's in it, okay? Have an idea of what's in it. I'm going to open it and let's just check it out. I love this packaging. Look at the colors. It's so awesome. So awesome. All right. More bubble wrap. More bubble wrap. All right. I do know what's in it. I've been waiting for this so I can show you guys. This is so cool. This is my Onyx collection, you guys. This is my Onyx collection. Isn't that super cool? So I'm going to open it up so you guys can see all the colors. And then I'm going to do a tutorial for you guys um, so we can demonstrate it. So let's just check it out. So I just opened up the box, and um, these are the colors. You can see the colors. These are going to make an amazing smoky eye which is why I have on this shirt. It's got sparkles in this shirt. I really love it. And I'm going to wear it for the holiday. So I thought I would put it on so I could put my eyeshadow on and you guys can really see the colors pop, okay? So that's that. So let's check out these lipsticks, okay? This one, let's see, let's see. Which one is this one? All right. This one is 01 which is, this looks like black cherry, if you guys can see that. Let me check it out here. Oh, one. I think that one is like black cherry. And it does look like black cherry. It's really pretty. Okay, so that's this one. Okay, and then this one is like O2. Oh, so let's open this one up and see what we've got. This one is, let's see, O2. Oh, hmm, this one looks like, it's either black tie or black magic. We'll see which other, what the other one looks like. But this is the other color. Kind of looks like black tie. Really, really a dark shade. But it's pretty with the sparkles. So, all right. So that's O2. Let's open this box up. Hey, Heather. Hey, Kirsten. Hey, Morgan. Hey, Debbie. Hey, I just got my Onyx collection. So I'm unpackaging. And I'm having a look here. This one is 03. And this one looks like it may be, hmm, this one looks like black cherry, actually. This one looks like black cherry. And, um, hey, Lori, catch you later. So this one is black cherry, I believe. And then this one is, the one that I thought was black cherry, I think may be, hang on, let's see. Black cherry, black cherry, okay. This one's black cherry, this one's black tie. Can you guys kind of see the difference? Black cherry, black tie. And then the real dark one. So this is number one, black cherry. And number three looks like black, black tie. And then black magic is this one, the really, really dark one. All right, so we'll put that one on last. Okay guys, I'm gonna do a quick tutorial and um, I have clean skin. So I'm gonna start with my primer. And this is primer and it's really, really important to use your primer, why? Because it evens out the texture of your skin so when you put your foundation on, it goes over smooth, really, really smooth. So it's really easy to uh, apply just a couple spritz on your face and then just kinda let that air dry. So we're gonna let that air dry and then I am going to apply my, let's see, I'm going to apply my foundation. And let me get my handy dandy things here. Okay, so got my palette. I'm going to apply my foundation. I use a spatula and I'm Jenna Beige and I have to warm it up because it is wax based. So, hey Michelle, hey. So we're gonna warm it up on your hand. And guys, I do this really quick. So no, no art into applying the foundation um, in the beginning except to just paint it on kind of like war paint because the temperature of your skin, okay? And I don't have a mirror, so I'm having to use my phone as a mirror. So you're gonna get to see me really up close and personal. So um, just 
apply it to your skin, and then the temperature of your skin will warm your foundation. The great thing about this foundation, you guys, and I'm going to try to give you some tips um, while I... Um, while I'm doing this as we go along, is your foundation is non-comedogenic. That word's for you, Debbie. Non-comedogenic, which means it doesn't clog your pores. It's wax-based, so it lays on the top of your skin rather than getting absorbed into your skin. So that's a really huge difference with our uh, foundations. The other thing about our foundations is that they're 50% pigmented versus what you can buy at a drugstore or even over the counter in a very fancy um, um, mall uh, that have 18 to 23% pigment. These suckers have 50% pigment. They're awesome. They come in a palette, which is really professional, and it's really easy to um, carry your foundations around. Plus, they won't harbor bacteria because they're not liquid. Liquid foundations, after a while, can harbor bacteria. This this is my own personal one, so you can see it's almost empty, but um, these you can actually spritz with a little bit of alcohol and pat it, and um, it will keep it very clean so you know you're putting clean makeup on your skin. That is very, very important. So I'm going to apply it with my uh, blusher brush. Now these are our tools and you can use um, um, your fingers. That's a tool also. You can use a blusher, a uh, buffer brush, or you can use a blenderful sponge um, to apply your foundation. But I am just going to do this quickly because I'm trying to um, get to show you guys the Onyx collection. Okay, so I'm just going to go around in circles, and the reason that you want to go around in circles, you guys, is because you want to cover um, all of your pores. You want it to look even all the way around, so don't forget to get, look at the coverage. Can you see the coverage already? That thing is going to go away in just a minute, and I was looking for my... Uh, concealers, but I think I might have left them in the bathroom. But this has so much good coverage, we might not even need it. You can use your foundations and your uh, concealers actually as an eye uh, an eyeshadow primer. So just apply it right up there. And the warmer it is on your skin, you guys, the easier it is to apply. Look, can you see it going away? It's going away see I'm gonna make that go away so I can see okay sorry you guys I had to make some comments go away I'll check back in just a minute but since I don't have a mirror I have to use my phone as my mirror so I'm gonna okay don't forget your ears don't forget to blend down on your neck just like that okay See how quick and fast and easy that was, you guys? So quick and fast. And look, skin looks flawless. Looks amazing. Looks a little dewy right now, but I haven't put my powder on to set it. And I, I really go light on my powder, and I only use it right here on my forehead and my nose. If you tend to be more oily, you guys, you can uh, use that powder a little bit more. Um, but I am dry, so I don't really need to use a whole lot of powder. Okay, so that's the foundation. And I will take a little bit of powder. This is my translucent powder, and I'm going to take a little bit of it, and I'm just going to pat it right there on my forehead. So when the light hits my forehead, it's not glowing. <laughs> okay, and I'm going to do it right there on my nose, just a little bit. But see the coverage? See the coverage? It's Flawless. It looks beautiful. Okay. There we go. All right. Really quick. I cannot wait to check out these eyeshadows. We're going to try a really pretty smoky eye. Okay. This is the Onyx collection. So we're going to try this really pretty smoky eye. You guys, I did find my um, I did find my concealer, so I am going to take. I have my concealers right here, okay, and I am going to take a little concealer and just put a little bit around um, that spot that I have on my face. Make sure it goes away, disappears completely, 
And uh, you can use a concealer brush, and I happen to use this little fluffy, this little fluffy brush. Get under your eyes really good, really good coverage. This blends, these concealers, you guys, are awesome. They cover, they cover everything. They, okay, there. Let me check you guys out. Hey, Debbie. Okay, now you gotta go. All right. So let's start with the eyeshadows here. And I'm going to, let's see. Let's use this color, the lighter color. We're going to kind of go all over the eye with this color. It's a very neutral color. Can you see that? It's very, very neutral. All right, these are the ones I can't wait to dig into. So let me try, I think I wanna go with the, uh, this one actually is like a sparkly silver. If you guys can see that, it kind of matches my, my shirt. So I really like that. And I think I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna go with that on the um, outer, inner, and then just kind of in the crease area, I will go with this color right there. So let me get my blending brush. Right here. I have little eyes, you guys. I wish I had big eyes. Look at this tiny little brush that I have to use for my eyelid. It fits my entire eyelid, this tiny little brush right here. So um, let's see. We're going to go. Let's see how dark that is. Whoa, that's really dark. Okay. So we're going to go maybe with a lighter shade. Okay. We'll blend. Okay, now we will take our blending tool and let's blend it a bit. You can use your blending brush and just go back and forth in like a windshield wiper motion right here on your eyelid. Just like so. Okay, that's just to cover my eyelids. And then I can build. I'm going to build. So, let's see. Now I'm going to take, I think, this color, which is the darker, darker color. And let's build it right out here. And notice how I'm not wiping, okay? I'm using a patting motion. So just pat that pigment right on your eyelid. Okay. And once you apply that, then take your brush, your blending brush, and blend. And you can blend in the wiper motion, but you're going to go this direction. You don't want to carry it out and have it fall out on your face. So carry it in. Okay. 